Hello everyone, welcome to this advanced manipulation Photoshop tutorial. I'm Andre from PSD Box, and today I'm going to show you how I made this fantasy looking photo manipulation in Photoshop. I will use Photoshop CC 2019 for this uh, tutorial, but you can use previous versions of Photoshop since uh, like changes between versions are not that great, so uh, you can easily create this in any Photoshop version. Well, actually, from CS 6 up, you will be able to create this or at least a very very similar result that I'm that I'm having here. Um, before we start I want to go a bit through the uh, PSD file and show you the steps that we're gonna uh, take to make this and see how uh, see the structure of this uh, tutorial. Also before we start just to show you this is the stock folder that, that contain all the images that you will need to create this uh, manipulation and you'll have them all or most of them as PNG files except the moon and the model which are in uh, JPEG format and we have to extract them but the rest of the images are in PNG files so that we don't waste time uh, extracting things from background because the tutorial is gonna be quite long anyway so we're not gonna spend time with uh, simple tasks that take a lot of time so uh, let's go through the PSD file you, you're gonna have a, s a smaller version of this uh, a little small because the file is huge and it takes a lot of um, space and the same uh, with the video so let's show you what we're gonna do so we're gonna start by creating this um, this scene here uh, this is made out of several stock images uh, 3d renders and well just regular stock images JPEG files and after that we're gonna create a simple background here to have something to work with you can use anything you want here um, we're gonna blur it a little bit so that it doesn't stand out that much uh, next we're gonna add the dragon this is a 3d render uh, that I rendered in blender I purchased this from sketchfab.com um, this is the model that I purchased from sketchfab and I just rendered the position of, uh, of him uh, according to uh, what I needed and I just rendered it uh, let me close this because it's pretty slow and just go to render so you can see uh, okay this is the model uh, has several poses and different uh, attack poses and flying poses so I just took one that I took um, one that I thought would work for this scene I just rendered it at added some lights and um, I just use it in Photoshop we're not gonna go into blender I just wanted to show you that this is a 3d model and it's not a JPEG file um, but as I said, we're not going to go into Blender at all because you will have the final version in the stock folder. Let's move on. And next, I'm going to show you how to add the model. This is what the original image extracted from the background. We're going to uh, add another crown, but you can leave the, that one if you want. We're going to delete the hair and just paint it ourselves manually. It's really easy. Um, what else? Next, I'm going to show you how to go from that to this as you will see the details here on the hair let me go back before and after and I'm going to show you how to change the color on the dress using adjustment layers how to paint some shadows uh, let me zoom out so you can see the whole image next we're going to add start adding details uh, we're going to spend some time making the shading while well, the shadows here and then the light effects uh, I'm going to show you how to create this light effects to make it look a little more realistic I rendered this uh, because here we're gonna have the moon so I rendered this to create a more or less consistent light here and after we're done with everything we're gonna make the final edits in camera raw and get this look um, uh, using camera raw and some light effects with some layers and blend modes and the details that you see here this flying glass and the petals we're not gonna add them on this tutorial uh, it's really simple just put them there change the blend mode to screen and then uh, blur them a little bit but you will have the files here in the stock folder this is the file of the petals and this is the image of the glass I just took some parts there and put them here um, that's all for the intro I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial as I said it's an advanced tutorial so uh, take your time and grab a cup of uh, coffee or something and let's get started <laughs> 